Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be doing a first <clears throat> <clears throat> gameplay review <clears throat> of Dungeon Raider. You can find this on Facebook in the games section. So it looks like I may have attempted to log in, I don't know, let's see. Pretty sure I haven't played this game before, but we'll see. Dark Elf Rising, Chapter 1. Guilds of Elon, Chapter 2. Chapter 3, Unrest in Skull On. Okay, so we can close this out. I do like the... The artwork is pretty good, and yeah, it's got some pretty good quality to it. The, <clears throat> I don't know what classes these are, but the white clothing is pretty neat. I like that one. I think this is an archer. I don't know what class it is. That looks kind of cool. And let's see, what else? So, I don't know. Looks like three different factions, maybe. Not sure, but... <clears throat> it has been five centuries of peace in these lands since the last war with the Dark Elves and their undead allies. The Dark Cousins of the High Elves have been banished into the depths of the abysmal plains forever, so they say. The final battle was waged in the westernmost Nargumdom Expanse. At the door of the highest, uh, high elven kingdom of Starfall, with the unlikely aid from the doors, lizard clans, and <clears throat> the former alliance of men, Prince Arir of Starfall led the battalions into the final conflict. The clash lasted for days <clears throat> the clash lasted for days until the dark elven general prince of Drac was slayed and the army of the dead pushed back into the abyss oh so these are actual buttons it's not just a picture that's weird not all of them work some of these do so it's just the way they have it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Many perish from that first battle in the Sea of Blood. The High Elves have lost a great number of their kin. Young and old, all sacrificed for that very final confrontation. With their numbers stretched too thin, the time of men had come. Savvy for knowledge, power and wealth, sea folks, ri river folks, and the men tribes from Ellen to Kalan united as the alliance of men. They flourished and conquered what was abandoned by the crumbling empire of elves. In little over a hundred years, the Aegean Empire of Men ruled most of the continents while the elves secluded themselves in their deep magical forests and the dwarves went back into their mountains. Centuries have passed without any major conflict among the races, but today there are words of shadows roaming from the nights, uh, roaming the nights. The dead walk again, goblins and orcs spilling out of the dead, the Dada, uh, Dadi, are terrorizing townships and villages. Rumors are that the dark elven blighters and necromancers have returned, guided by the dark hands of a greater evil from the abysmal plains. As for you, it's been a year since you left the continent for the recently discovered Galad Islands, looking for adventure 
and long lost treasures, only to discover a barren piece of rock on the Sigil Sea. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. So it's got that paper look, uh, aged paper look to their pages here. Out of luck and funds, we waited for the next boat to return to Elon, the Eastern Aegean Empire. Before boarding, you overheard the captain speaking of troubled times on the continent. And yet again, I like I like the little artwork they have here with their little vessel. Kidnapping, killings, rumors of wars, separation of Port Brissia from the Empire, and even the fall of the human Aegean Empire itself. Rumors could not possibly bring down a five centuries summer old empire, or could it? Hearing the news, you hurry up the cell ship eager to return to Elon as a opportunity for adventure beacons in this troubled times. So the the rest of that is a little the writing is smaller and it is hard to see. Hey wait a minute there might be a full screen button here. Is there a full screen? What's this? Aha <laughs> So it does have a full screen button and that is a lot better. I can read it now. <laughs> it was really hard to read from about three feet away from the screen. And my screen is only 17 inches, so imagine that. <clears throat> Feel free to use the quick guides for a quick explanation of the game. If you have any questions or suggestions, you are welcome to join the forums to share your thoughts and ideas about the game. After creating your character you'll arrive at one of the three beginning cities from where you will start your adventure. Enter the tavern to hear rumors and obtain dungeon locations or enter your own dungeon, dungeon and express your creativeness. Do not forget to place your main character in your dungeon through the rooster interface. Good luck and have fun fellow adventurers. So you can create things and just play through the game if you want. That's pretty neat. Whoa, all these are races? Wow, what's the... Why are some of these, why do some of them have numbers? 250, 250, 250, and 250. That's weird. How come the other ones don't have anything? Wow, look at all these races. It'd probably take me an hour just to figure out which one I want to play. Oh. So I'm going to read one of the descriptions. I'm not going to go through them all, guys, because I'm not going to have time. I usually only do a 10-minute review, 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, This would probably take me an hour just to go through all of them. So I will do the Cobalt because that's always the, the underdog in most of the games. <laughs> so they actually, in this game, they made it a race, which is kind of funny, but... No one has ever done it before, so that is interesting to me. So the Cobalt is an evil mix of Goblin, Lizard, and Ratman. The Cobalt <clears throat> from the Underworld world are as vow as our dynamic, demonic creators. Guided by all that is evil, the Cobalt together with the Deep Goblins are swarming through the ancient Dwarven tunnels destroying and pillaging what is left of the Dwarven Empire. Their numbers ever-growing, they are an unstoppable swarm ready to be commanded by a greater evil. Some are even seen out of the underworld during the night 
they come and feed on cattle and child a lot like <clears throat> no door could stop them as they come from the ground up until under the bed of their unlucky victims so they got half elf here oh I see so you can see their oh HP So this is old school right here, guys. So the skills here are on the bottom for the each race. HP regen, regeneration, if you're not sure what, you know, if you're not familiar with RPG game slang words, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, so the, this race gets a bonus climb skill bonus swim skill battle hardened do they all get battle hardened and then it says up to two henchmen so that's interesting you get henchmen here hmm now that's interesting so okay they all get battle hardened but it looks like their stats are different. Let's go back. Okay, this is Battle Harden, and it looks like it's all the same. HP, MP, and then I was looking at half bill, I think. Yeah, so the Battle Harden is with everybody. It looks like. Going back. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So he gets four. So what's this 250 thing? One, two, three, four, five. They get an extra stat. But what does the 250 represent? Is that how much? Is that what you have to pay in real life, or? Because it looks like they have a cash shop. Wow. I'm gonna pause the thing, guys. It might take me a few minutes to choose which one I want to try. So let's see. Okay, guys, I'm going to be recording for about five to ten more minutes. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, so I've decided on the new Norfolk because they have uh, a boost to their experience. They got a bonus experience gain. They have a little bit more HP. So I don't know if they're a caster, but they look like rangers. And it looks like they may get a, a pet animal to have with them. So I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna be a male. So I get to pick which class I can be. Hmm. Archers excel at using range. Rogue. Primalist. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool, so I'll pick that one. This is a very, yeah, so let me see. Hmm, oh. I gotta pick. I don't know, I'll pick two neutral. I don't know why it's letters of the alphabet on the left. J, is it gonna let me put my name? Nope. That's weird. Okay, it's not let me put my name. 
Um, I get 10 ability points. His bonus is in... He's got four, one, two, three, four main stats. So, I have to put two in each. Yeah, I think this is an old school game. So, and his main stat is Wisdom. And then the other one is, is HP. So that looks about right. Okay. Got a lot of skills here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I guess we do that. I don't know, it's not letting me go any further. I don't know what else to do. But anyway guys, I'll uh, try to figure this out on my own and see if the game will continue. Thanks for watching, and this is a first review gameplay of, well, there's not really any gameplay because um, for some reason it's just not letting me begin, so. But at least you guys got a preview of the game before we start playing, guys, so this is just a review and no gameplay guys and thanks for watching I will see you in the next video and if I can get this working I will have a video with some gameplay thanks for watching and have a great day everyone